All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're now moving on to course three of the Fashion Industry Essentials Program by Yellow Brick, partnered with Parsons Teen Vogue. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and we'll go ahead and get straight into the video. So for course three, it's understanding fashion production. So this is also kind of interesting because and I feel like this is a very relative topic to no matter what part of the fashion industry that you end up in. Whether you're from like a retail standpoint or anywhere else, fashion production is a very interesting thing to learn. And when I still lived in California, there was uh, very few fashion courses at my local community college, but there was one that I took that was kind of um, focused on trend forecasting. And it's actually very interesting. It is really cool how much like of a science goes into it. I think understanding fashion production is very important for anybody, very relative, no matter what part of the fashion industry that you're in. Five things, are these all like assignments? Yes, okay, so five assignments in course three. First one is production standard. Try on clothes, write a short blog post about the fitting upload pics. Something that I like about the, this online course is that there are several assignments that you have to go out and report back. Right now, that's a little bit difficult given the current circumstances, um, but if things relatively start going back to normal again, or maybe you can just try on things in your own closet and just talk about how they fit. I mean, before we were all on lockdown, think about if you tried on clothes before we all had to stay home, think about how those clothes fit. I definitely have a lot of opinions about how clothes fit. And I think, I think I probably wrote that too. I'm very opinionated about it. But what frustrates me personally about how clothes fit is that they are not complementary to every body type. Like the way that these clothes are manufactured is that they think that everybody has one shape and that is definitely not true. So many bodies come in different shapes. There is no universal size over every store, like Target, H&M, American Eagle. A size six is like completely different in all of those stores. And it's very frustrating. <laughs> Second assignment is production inputs. It says create a fabric card using a piece of stitch paper or cardboard, attach swatches and a business card from the store, upload the link or the image of it. This was my um, production card with all these fabrics that I got at Joann's. They're all neutrals because I love neutrals. <laughs> what else do I choose? But I wrote down what all the different materials were made out of. A lot of them are polyester or linen or rayon. Third assignment is your skill. Properly pin a poorly fitted shirt, take before and after photos. Um, I think I used Kalani as a dummy for this one and used a shirt that was like way too big and then pinned it on him or something. So that's really simple. Just pin it on one of your friends, on your mom, whoever, take a photo, upload it, write some good things about what you learned. Fourth assignment is your mock-up. Create a mock-up of a signature bag, upload photo, and then write a short blog post on it. That's pretty self-explanatory too. I think it's relative to the previous course where you had to, um, using your hands, design something original and unconventional, I guess just a mock-up of a signature bag, that would be like your signature bag, something you would really like to see as your signature bag. Final assignment is your product. Create signature bag with striping technique, calculate production costs, upload photos, and blog posts. So this is a combo, personally for me, of something that I didn't really like doing and something that I really enjoyed learning about. So fashion design and actually creating things I'm not very good at, but I think it was really, really interesting to like, okay, you're taking knowledge from what you learned from the, the previous course and this current course, and you're creating something, knowing what you know, learning the techniques and design that you learned in the previous course, but then also learning all the production costs of what you had to learn in this course. So going out, picking a fabric that you liked, how much is that fabric, how much, of, how much is that fabric per yard, and then also you need to have like a markup on it so that you actually make money and just learning all that kind of stuff like from a sales point of view again if you work in retail or something or actually in fashion design i think that's really interesting because i don't think a lot of people realize all that it takes you know sometimes things are very well overpriced but other times you're like wow this there's a lot and there always has to be a markup otherwise you know you're not going to make money from consumers but it was very interesting i really liked that part was to see how much would go into making a bag, even though my bag was horrible and very ugly, uh, I thought it was fun to see how everything just kind of came to be. That is the last assignment for course three, which is understanding fashion production. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumb up. A thumb up, just one thumb. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more as I post videos weekly. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.